The late Jurassic was an age ruled by giants, a world where every footstep of colossal creatures could make the earth tremble. In this realm of titans, Allosaurus rose as the dominant predator. Nearly 10 meters long, with a lightweight yet resilient skull, jaws lined with serrated blade-like teeth, and powerful hind legs, it has long been portrayed as a solitary hunter. Yet the fossil record reveals a far more intricate story. The key mystery lies in the Cleveland Lloyd Quarry in Utah, a dinosaur graveyard containing over 12,000 bones. What sets this site apart is the predator-to-prey ratio. Allosaurus fossils outnumber herbivores dramatically, with at least 46 individuals spanning multiple age groups. Such density is incompatible with a strictly solitary lifestyle. The stone layers suggest a collective catastrophe and more importantly, a social dimension to Allosaurus behavior. The ecological motive for such sociality emerges when we examine the Morrison Formation. This was the kingdom of the giant sauropods, Brachiosaurus, Diplodocus, Apatosaurus, each weighing tens of tons. A lone Allosaurus attacking a healthy adult sauropod would be committing suicide. But a coordinated group transforms the equation entirely. Agile juveniles could harass from multiple angles, forcing the Titan to twist, turn, and expend precious energy. Meanwhile, powerful adults would strike with the weapon Allosaurus evolved for. Not a crushing bite, but a devastating slash and tear motion, powered by strong neck muscles and serrated teeth. These rapid hit-and-run attacks inflicted deep, bleeding wounds. Once weakened, the sauropod's immense size became a liability. Shock and blood loss would finish what the pack started. Additional clues come from fossilized trackways, parallel footprints of large theropods moving in the same direction at the same speed. A territorial solitary hunter would not travel in formation, while a perfect fossil of one prey animal bearing bite marks from multiple Allosaurus of different sizes has not yet been found. The cumulative evidence forces a re-evaluation. The emerging portrait is not that of a wolf-like, tightly organized pack, nor of a loner. Instead, Allosaurus likely formed flexible, opportunistic combinations gathering at kills, water sources, or during hunts when cooperation provided a decisive advantage. From scattered bones and faint trackways arises a richer truth. Allosaurus was not merely powerful, but strategic, adaptive, and shaped by the same survival pressures that govern ecosystems today.